Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate how to do a rapid IV push using adenosine. Uh, so first of all, we have our BSI on, we have our gloves and goggles, and our scene is safe. Uh, with this patient, our patient's in supraventricular tachycardia, and vagal maneuvers have not been successful, so we're gonna do adenosine. So we're gonna explain the procedure to the patient and let them know that there may be some adverse effects um, from the adenosine, like a feeling of impending doom, they may have chest discomfort or shortness of breath, they might get dizzy, and they might get nauseous. So our normal saline bag has already been spiked and it's diced and I'll go ahead and dice our uh, adenosine and we're also make sure that you go through your six patient rights before giving the medication. So uh, this is adenosine. It is six milligrams and two mLs and the dose that we're going to give is six milligrams. We're going to push this whole thing. Uh, the integrity is good. Uh, the package is uh, there's no damage to it and the expiration is February of 2018. So we'll pull this out and dice it one more time. So again, it's adenosine, it's still six milligrams in two mLs, and expiration is February of 2018, and this is all intact. Next, we need a couple of pieces of equipment, a 20 mL um, syringe, as well as a three-way stopcock, and some alcohol preps. So with your 20 mL syringe, you need to draw up um, the full syringe of just normal saline. Okay, we're going to clean off our port. So open up an alcohol prep pad. Make sure you clean that well. And we're going to withdraw 20 mLs. So open up your IV line. You're gonna pinch above and you're withdrawing from the bag itself. Okay, we'll disconnect that. Close off your IV line and we're going to attach that to our three-way stopcock. And again, we're going to clean this port and attach the stopcock onto there. Okay, we're gonna turn this off to the main line and we can take off this cap here and we're gonna attach the adenosine. I added some red dye just so you can see the medication actually being pushed. And now at this point, we want to close this back off to the flush. That way we don't have to pinch anything and we don't have to worry about this backing up into the flush. We can just slam the adenosine, switch this over, and then slam the flush. No pinching involved. Only thing you need to make sure is that your main line is closed off. All right, so again, make sure that your patient's aware that they're going to feel maybe some chest pain or shortness of breath, um, some nausea, some other adverse effects. And right before we push this, we're also going to hit print on the monitor. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, and I'm going to first slam the adenosine, swap it, and slam the flush. And I will look back at the monitor, and you may see some asystole, you may see some ectopy, and eventually, hopefully, we'll go back to a regular sinus rhythm or sinus tack. So we can stop printing at this point. And now just make sure that you flow your IV fluids. You might want to think about doing a fluid bolus, and you want to reassess vital signs and reassess the patient's condition. And what we're going to do here is we're going to push the adenosine quickly. I'm going to hold that plunger down because of the pressure and then I'm gonna flush with this syringe. So I'm gonna push rapid, and our flush. Now going back over to our patient and the monitor, we're gonna hopefully see some kind of a conversion. It's like we have a conversion to sinus tack, so we can stop printing. And going back here, open up your line, make sure it's flushing well, and we can disconnect our stopcock.